it's exciting, you know? A crane brings in a 25,000 pound house over your house and your neighbor's house, very generous neighbors. And, uh, and, and yeah, everybody had their cameras out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, one of the very common questions I get is, Ryan, do you know anything about a Bodu? Tell me about them. They get a lot of good press. Uh, they're an up and coming modular company that does ADUs. And I like to say, hey, I have visited one of these. I have seen it. And so today I've just filmed a site installation um, done by a Bodu with one of their units in Oakland in a very hilly, tight street. So I think this video will answer a lot of people's questions about how the cranes work to drop a unit in the backyard, uh, how a Bodu does it specifically, and then like what kind of power line work needs to be done when there's a lot of lines in the street. Um, it's uh, hopefully going to be really interesting and this is a very common question so I'm so excited that a Bodu let me come out and view their install. Uh, this lets me give you guys the straight scoop, right? And later on, I'll be doing interviews with their founders about their mission and how they're going about doing things. And uh, hopefully I'll get an interview with the owner of this unit. Uh, he seemed amenable to it today, but he was eating a sandwich, so I let him, <laughs> let him do that. Didn't want to bother him. Uh, and, then, and then he was busy filming, just like I was, because it's exciting, you know? A crane brings in a 25,000 pound house over your house and your neighbor's house. Very generous neighbors. I mean, this is, this is wild. You guys have so many power lines to deal with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it looked like, so each house, there's three houses. There's yeah. the house that we're delivering to and then there's the two neighboring properties. Uh -huh. Each one has two lines. One yeah. is a communication line yeah. and one is a PG&E line. Yeah. So we're dropping those six. Yeah. Um, so PG&E, you see them up there dropping that. That's now. okay. We That's do, cool. We do about four to six a month right That's now. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. The interesting thing about that is it's a long setup, uh -huh. but the actual picking of the unit is only about 90 seconds. Yeah. They just, it's like, whoop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. Wow, it's, it's, it's awesome that you guys are so flexible. Like, so, okay, if these, if you were installing on the other side of the street, yeah. would it be significantly harder because the power lines are set up Correct. over there? Yeah, yeah. So that's, um, you know, with the power lines, it's usually, and, and some other conditions, you know, basically it's, if, uh, if we can work with you, it's kind of a slam dunk in yeah. terms of timing, pricing, quality, uh, experience that you have just that you're going through a remodel. It's just kind of a slam dunk. The flip side of that is that there are certainly a number of houses where we just can't work with you. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I'm happy to refer you to a, you know, contractors that we know are things that we know. Um, when we can work with you, it's kind of the best of all time. All of our models, uh, we have uh, a, a master plan set, basically, so they're, they're state approved before we submit in the city, so typical permit turnaround time for us is about three to four weeks in a city that we haven't worked in before, and then we've got um, uh, a growing list of cities. San Jose was the first one, but certainly not the last, uh, but a growing list of cities where we have express status, meaning they also, the city has pre-approved our plan, so when we submit, it's essentially over the counter. So um, pre-COVID, that that would mean hours to pull permits, literally. Now, in in the COVID times, more like a, a one to two week turnaround. Still very fast. Um, and then our build cycle is about 12 weeks. So uh, typical project timeline start to finish is about four months, between 16 weeks. Uh, and we also now have a quick ship option, which is pretty cool too. So. Uh, for our one bedroom model with customers that select uh, sort of our standard list of options, uh, our most popular options and upgrades, uh, when they place that order, we'll, we'll, instead of waiting for permits in hand, which we typically do, so three to four weeks, we are going to place that order with our factory right away because we're going to basically pull from inventory rather than building from the ground up. Uh, so that can shorten the, the build time quite a bit. Uh, on average, it's probably going to be about a three-month project time, but we can certainly get it faster than that, sometimes even closer to two months. Because that includes so. a month of manufacture. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, exactly. It's, it's basically the ramp up, yeah so, yeah. so if we have standing inventory, we can just pull from inventory, yeah. and then it's the permitting process with some other details. Yeah. Um, typically, we're going to wait until we have permits in hand before we send the order yeah. to the factory, which is about three, four weeks. Yeah. Right, so. And if permits come back with comments, it's okay, because it's your most common unit. Somebody else will, exactly. will need that eventually, yeah. very yeah. soon. Yeah. Right, and, and that's, you know, we have, that has not happened yet. We don't anticipate that happening, really, because we're never doing any sort of variance or, you know, out of the 
box project. I mean, we're always conforming to local you know, jurisdiction codes and state codes. So it's, um, you know, we get comments back every once in a while, but they're, they're, they're sort of just, mostly it's a, a permit technician that is just not familiar with what we're doing. I and mean, we need to sort of educate them a little bit and then we, and then away we go. <laughs> it's like a limbo. Okay, now it's green and yellow. 
<laughs> the good way. <laughs> Here's more modular footage since you watched all the way to the end. Uh, and here's some more ADU footage. 